Spider-Man Classics, X-Men Classics, Fantastic Four, Hulk, Toy Biz, Hasbro, Marvel Cinematic Universe, Build-A-Figures, which ones are really, really the best? And what does that even mean? Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this, finally, is the ultimate 10 best Marvel Legends figures. We've previously produced videos ranking the 10 best Build-A-Figures, 10 best Toy Biz Legends, 10 best Hasbro Legends, and the 10 best Marvel Cinematic Universe figures. Now, it's time to take all of those figures and make this one ultimate list, factoring everything in all together. We're going back as far as Spider-Man classics in 2000, including X-Men classics, Fantastic Four, Hulk, and Spider-Man movie waves, all the Marvel Cinematic Universe stuff, every Legends wave, up to and including the Man-Thing, Netflix, Daredevil wave, and Mantis Build-A-Figure waves, but not including the Thor Ragnarok Hulk wave or any of the 2017 Comic-Con exclusives. It was a monumental challenge because there were well over 10 figures, so several difficult cuts had to be made. And you know, opinions are constantly changing and best can be influenced by trends in the market, fan preferences, and any other figures that have been released at any given time. And not for nothing, but if a figure ranked high in the past, that doesn't necessarily guarantee it a high ranking on this list today, right now. Number 10, 2017 Hasbro Mantis Wave Gamora. She's the best non-helmeted, non-tree or raccoon, practically human likeness in the Legends line. The fine silver details on her face are so delicate that it's hard to believe this is a domestically produced $20 figure in a mainstream line. Hasbro's sculpts have always been strong, but they too frequently get lost in the application of heavy, inconsistent paint jobs that lack any depth or range of skin tone. Not so important when it comes to the comic-based figures, but as more movie characters are represented in the line, the more important it is to get those likenesses right. Gamora is a welcome sign of where the line is heading in the future. Number 9 is 2006 Toy Biz Giant Man Wave Giant Man. You had to buy 10 figures to put them together, which in and of itself made it one of the harder and more expensive Build-A-Figures figures to complete back in 2006, or even up to today in 2017. Hulkbuster was only seven, Fin Fang Foom was only eight. Heck, Captain America Civil War Wave Giant Man from 2016 was only six. It's not just the cost that puts Giant Man on the list, it's not just the size, it's the detail in the sculpt, the paint, and that so much effort was put into a character that no one would put in their top 10 favorite Marvel characters. Number 8 is 2013 Hitmonkey Wave Archangel. Everyone loves a bad boy, and you don't get much badder than a former member of the Four Horsemen of Apocalypse. And not just one of the four, he headlined as Death. He led the team, that's Captain Death to you. With big metallic wings that pivot for flight or to wrap around him menacingly, this figure captures all the badness of his now iconic look that every collector must have, even if Archangel doesn't have any other accessories. Number 7 is 2006 Toy Biz Face-Off Series 1 Hulk. There were two different versions of this Hulk figure, one with a closed mouth snarling rage and one with an open mouth shouting rage. This slot is for both figures since both are in the running for best Hulk figure ever, still. They're not as articulated as more recent Hulk figures, but what they lack in posability they more than make up for with sculpted details and paint application, the hallmarks of the Toy Biz era. They are comic styled enough to put with your comic themed display, and just realistic enough that they could fit with your Marvel Cinematic Universe display, even if they don't look like Mark Ruffalo. Number 6 is 2003 Toy Biz Series 4 Beast. He's the oldest figure on the list, and a version of Beast that has not been attempted since. It's the classic Walt Simonson X-Factor blue furry beast, but not the kitty cat faced second evolution version that would show up later during Astonishing X-Men. Nothing but X shorts for this figure. He's got an articulated jaw and he's the only figure in the entire line that gets the Dan Larson thumbs up for toe and finger articulation. It's crazy to think that this 14 year old figure is still the best beast available. Number five is 2005 Toy Biz Apocalypse Wave Apocalypse. It's hard for a 6-inch figure to compete with a Build-A-Figure, it's really not even fair. Especially when compared to this classic Toy Biz era that had no limits on what they would attempt to produce. The Build-A-Figure came into existence because Toy Biz and Marvel wanted to be able to deliver this scale and level of detail on a figure. Apocalypse, which came in both classic blue and black variant, how's that for expensive, stands 13 and a half inches tall, towering over all of your other X-Men as needed for your toy photography needs. He's got his giant hoses, blue frowny clown lips, and articulated fingers. He's been a fan favorite for so long that Marvel, just last week during Comic-Con 2017, announced that they were finally taking another crack at him to be released sometime in 2018. 
Number four is 2016 Hasbro Juggernaut Wave Deadpool. Old news flash, Deadpool is wicked popular, has been for a long time, and continues unabated to be popular into the future. I literally don't know if it's possible for a character like Deadpool to jump the shark as it were because he would embrace the very concept and use that as a selling point. Deadpool Jumps the Shark is probably the title of the third Deadpool movie due out in 2020. This isn't a movie-themed suit, which could and should be delivered in 2018 when Deadpool 2 hits theaters, but it's close enough to use it with movie or comic-based displays. Swords, guns, boxing glove, launching bazooka, and a taco. All he's missing is a kitchen sink, which the Jump the Shark version will very likely, unironically, include. Number three is 2016 Hasbro Juggernaut Wave Wolverine. Sporting his classic brown and yellow suit, even though technically the yellow tiger stripe suit is the older suit, it's the Wolverine figure that fans have been looking forward to as the Series 6 figure began to age and increase in price on the secondary market. He's got an old school look, individually removable claws, interchangeable hands, butterfly shoulders, everything collectors could want short of an unmasked head and a facial expression. And he's Wolverine, which is pretty hard to beat in terms of general popularity and even more impressive considering he's still technically dead in the Marvel Universe and now also, spoiler alert, in the movie universe as well. For now. Number two is 2015 Hobgoblin Wave Spider-Man, a.k.a. Pizza Spider-Man. Alternate hands including a set molded perfectly for pizza holding, ab crunchability, painted on web lines, alternate half unmasked head for eating pizza, bright blue and red color scheme, big eyes but not too big, and a slice of pepperoni pizza that serves only to be an indulgence for Spider-Man and those who love this figure and Marvel Legends in general. While this figure has nothing to do with pizza per se, it's not like it was sponsored by Pizza Hut or Little Caesars Pizza. It was nicknamed Pizza Spider-Man very early in the figure's life as a quick and easy way to identify it amongst all the other non-pizza-packed Spider-Mans. Only the best figures get the knockoffs, and while I don't support the purchase of said knockoffs, it does mean that the secondary value and popularity demand for this figure are beyond the degree to which Hasbro served the market. The most unfortunate part about this figure is that it did not inspire Hasbro to include pieces of pizza with every or any Spider-Man figure that has been released since. For shame, Hasbro. And at number one, 2005 Toy Biz Sentinel Wave Sentinel. It's a gorgeous piece of articulated plastic sculpture, a mutant murdering robot that towers over nearly every other Legends figure produced. Incredible detail enhanced by layers of shiny metallic and matte finish paint. Individually articulated fingers, a pivoting neck even though Sentinels don't have necks, Omega Red style death hoses that can be attached to its palms, it's the sheer size that hits you first but everything else that prevents you from looking away. Safe to say this figure was underappreciated during its time. When Marvel Legends moved from Toy Biz to Hasbro, figures were suddenly delivered with less finish to make them cheaper to produce, and yet, the price to purchase continued to increase. Fans felt like they were getting less for their dollar because they were. It's hard not to look at this Sentinel and wonder if there will ever be anything like it again. The size, the detail, the original price, every factor makes this emotionless killing machine grow more beautiful with each passing day, with each new non-15 inch Build-A-Figure that gets produced. That's the ultimate 10 best Marvel Legends, 17 years of figures, too many Spider-Mans to count, comics, movies, Netflix, Build-A-Figures, Talking Trees, Taskmaster, and one slice of pizza. Thanks for watching and thank you to everyone on the Action Figure subreddit and our Patreon who answered the call when I asked for your lists of 10 best. Lots of votes and it was all taken into account. There's no way that Apocalypse figure breaks the top 10 if I'm the only one responsible for making the call. Please hit like, hit subscribe, share this video and let us know in the comments what your list looks like. I'm sure it's different. That's all part of the fun of this. Good job. Cut.